The Gray Man of Pauley's Island, South Carolina is one of the most famous ghosts of the Grand Strand. The Gray Man is said to appear just before massive storms hit to warn those who see him of impending disaster. Those who heed the warning survive, as do their homes and property. So who is this Gray Man of Pauley's Island? Well, there are a few origin stories of the Gray Man, but this one is the most popular. In the early 1800s, a young man is getting ready to visit his love, a love he has not seen in a very long time, as he has been out at sea. He plans a journey to the other side of the island, to his beloved's home, to ask her to marry him. The man leaves his home with a companion on horse, eager to quickly cross the distance to the other side of the island. They follow the road for a ways before deciding to take a shortcut through a marsh and taking a more direct off-road route. However, his horse stumbles and he is thrown into the marsh. The water and mud quickly grip him tight and slowly begin to pull him under. His companion tries to reach him to pull him free, but it is not just water he has fallen into, but also quicksand. And soon he gets his last glimpse through living eyes as his world turns black. Back at her home, the young woman waits patiently, but her love never arrives. Soon news reaches her of the tragedy that has befallen them. Her love, now dead, was taken by the marsh. She is devastated and takes to walking along the beach every day. One evening, while making her regular walk along the strand, she comes across a solitary man dressed in gray, staring out over the ocean. There was something about the way he stood that seemed familiar, and as curiosity got the better of her, she approached him. As she got closer, the man turned around so she could see his face. Her heart skipped a beat as she recognized it was her true love. Before she could ask any questions, the man told her to leave, that the island was not safe. Before she could protest, he disappeared right in front of her. More distraught than ever, she returns home and tells her parents of what took place. Whether they believed in the warning or not isn't known, but she was so distraught and determined to listen to her dead lover's advice that they left the following day for the mainland. When they returned to the island, they came home to devastation. A hurricane had gone through the island, destroying everything it touched. However, aside from the young woman and her family, one other thing survived the storm, their family home. The Gray Man is not an isolated incident, but he has appeared to quite a few people over the last two centuries, and whenever he is seen, another massive storm soon follows. He's typically seen by only one or two people at a time, is typically dressed in gray, does not usually talk, but when he does, it is to warn. And when he does not talk, people get the idea why he is there anyways. If seen by larger groups of people, it's usually at a distance, such as when he appeared to a family in 1893. He was seen at a, at a distance and was waving, not in greeting, but in warning. The family seemed to just know what was happening and follow their instincts to leave the island. The following day, the Sea Islands hurricane killed well over a thousand people, but the family was saved. The Gray Man does not always appear near the water, but he has also been known to appear inside buildings and homes. In 1954, a newly married couple were enjoying their honeymoon on Polly's Island when they received a very early morning knock at the door. Upon answering, they were dressed by a man, dressed in gray, who told them that they needed to leave the island due to the approach of a large and deadly storm. Beyond the man, the sky seemed clear, but before the couple could question the man's warning, he disappeared right in front of them. One second he was there, next second he was gone. The new Weleds left the island immediately, and within days, Hurricane Hazel swept through, killing many people and destroying many homes. It's said that if you see the Gray Man, a deadly storm is on its way, and if you head further inland, you and your home will be spared from the storm. So, the Gray Man, when I first really started getting into the paranormal, this was one of the first local legends that I became really fascinated by. And here in a few weeks, we're actually going to be heading close to Pawwee's Island, South Carolina, and hopefully there won't be a deadly storm that will hit while we're there. But we may take the spirit box out onto the beach, the strand, and see if we can make contact with the Gray Man himself. So, have you ever heard of the Gray Man or a Gray Man type entity? Who do you think he is? Or do you think he is a messenger of doom? 
or a guardian spirit or something like that. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, but thank you all for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed it, and have a great day, everyone.